Hey love bugs, so today we're going to be doing this look right here. Um, it's very bright. Uh, I haven't really done bright looks in a really long time, so I'm kind of excited. Um, I kind of miss doing bright looks, and I know a lot of my subscribers that subscribed to me a really long time ago um, also miss them because I used to do them like a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start off with some tape. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with Painterly Pot. Um, usually I like doing more of a sticky base because, you know, it's, um, it's a very vibrant color. So you want to make sure that the colors um, pop. I'm just saying everything wrong today. I'm going to go ahead and use the Sedona Lace EB11 brush to apply this. I'm pretty sure I've seen more um, tutorials on this look ever since the electric palette came out or whatever. Um, forgive me for doing this look. It was just like I was already going to do this look as it was. And I had some extra time to film. So I was like, what the hell? Might as well. So um, you guys get stuck with this look. <laughs> We're going to start off with um, the Vice palette. And it looks like this. This one's the first one, I believe. Yeah, it has all of these colors. I'm going to be using this blue one called Chaos. And just with my Sedona Lace EB15 brush, I'm pretty sure all of these brushes come in a set, just in case you guys um, are looking at these brushes and are saying, like, what the fuck. Um, so I think I got them in a set. I think they're in the Vortex Professional set. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the blue, and I'm going to grab a lot of it, actually. I'm not going to try to dust off so much of the fallout because I want to make sure that I pack it on. And sometimes the tape even grabs the fallout, so it doesn't really matter. And just apply that all over my lid. And I'm going to be doing this maybe two times more, just to make sure it gets that really vibrant blue. The reason I'm using a, a blending brush instead of a flat brush to apply this is because I'm going to be blending this upward. So as you could see right here, it's just going to make it easier to transition into the pink color. Kind of raise your brow a little bit so you can get underneath. I think that was more than three to two to three times. I just love this blue so much. Just want to make it as bright as I can. Um, after, I'm going to be using this pink right here, and it's called Noise. Really pretty color. And I'm just going to be applying it with one of the regular brush sets that I received from this company. And then we're just going to go over it a little bit. Make sure you're doing the windshield motion so you could make sure you guys are blending it all together. And don't worry about the sides. Um, it's going to usually, well, not usually, but it's going to be straight edge like that. And don't worry about the top. Oh, we're going to be using another transition color right now. After that, I'm going to be using the Equal Tools, Tools Crease Brush, and I'm also going to be using um, one of my favorite browns from MAC, and it's called Brown Script. And then just slowly but surely go over the pink. I'm so sorry this video is, might be choppy. Um, I still haven't bought my new memory card, so it's still a little bit um, funky. Next, we're going to be using Laced, also from the Vice palette, just for a highlight. Nothing too special. And then from the Sephora Anthology palette, I'm going to be using this white right here. Right there. It's the sparkly one. And then I'm also going to be using the black just so I don't have to uh, raise the palette again because it is a very large palette. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm just going to grab the black. And this is one of my favorite parts of the reason why I have tape on is because I don't have to worry about the black. Pretty much you're just going to apply like that. <laughs> very, very lazy. Make sure you don't raise the black too much because we're going to be doing um, some blending right now. Add a little bit of more blue and then just kind of blend it all together. All right, and then I'm going to be grabbing a really small brush and I'm going to be grabbing... I'm going to stop saying grabbing. I'm going to be getting this really pretty green right here also from the Sephora Anthology palette palette I'm not used to talking in tutorials anymore and then I'm gonna be grabbing the blue again just with a smaller brush this is from the bra this is the ice much I don't know from Bobbi Brown I guess And then I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of black. Find that on the bottom as well. Alright, and then I'm going to be using my uh, Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And this should also be easy just in case uh, you have a trouble with your eyeliner. This is also another alternative to use. Um, you could always just Put the tape right here and then just kind of like make your line if the line is easier for you. And if the wing isn't, um, definitely use some tape. It uh, gives you a straight edge so you don't have to worry about where you're putting it or whatever. So it's very easy. be using the I don't know this is like the M um, from Michelle Pham the black olive um, pencil Ooh, right there I'm not sure if I like this one yet once you're finished with that you just take off your day oh and then you just kind of clean off anything that you need to. Um, anything you see that's uneven or whatever. I'm just taking some makeup remover and a cotton. Uh, what, what are these called? Q-tips? These are no brand, but you could find the same ones in Cherry. So... Number 74. I'll go ahead and put these on, put my face mask on, <laughs> and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is a final look. Um, I went ahead and did my normal face routine. I also added um, MAC Myth, and then on top of it I added, I added the um, Culture Lip Glass on top just to give it a little bit of shine. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any requests, just keep them coming and comment down below, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys.